Okay, I think I have one more game left in me before I leave the Seminole Hard Rock in Tampa and head home. We have a holiday weekend coming up. I, I'm on the main floor. I'm at Huff and More Puff. Let's do 10 cent denomination. Let's do uh, $10 per spin. Oops, it might help if I put some money up. I'm gonna put a thousand dollars in. That gives me my 100 to one, you know, uh, uh, bet ratio. You know, as I've often said, you need to give it not a super loud machine. I hope that this uh, the mice can pick it up. Uh, you know, for example, here's my 101. If you're if you have a hundred dollar budget, you put that in machine. You should bet one dollar a spin because that gives you 100 chances to try to get a bonus. It doesn't always work, but sometimes I see people come up, they put $100 in, they bet $10 for a spin, and they're, they're shocked that they haven't gotten a bonus. And I think part of that is, and I don't mean to you know, throw criticism at others, is that so often people watch these bonus rounds that show up as Facebook reels or stories or whatever. It just shows somebody hitting a button a couple times and boom, here's a huge bonus. And we know in reality, it just doesn't work that way. You know, you can be lucky and, and hit some bonuses, but oops, just hit the camera. Sorry about that. They're trying to get comfortable. As I said, I'll in here for a while. But it does, does not always happen that way. That's how come I prefer the gamble. Was, oh, come on, one more. The gamble responsible method. Just only bring money in the casino. You can afford to lose. Don't sit there and put your paycheck. Okay, we, I say paycheck. And look, we got a six hat bonus. So let's get started. Okay, minis at 100, minors at 500. We want hats, hats, hats. And that's not a good start. Three hats to give us a respin. We want to turn the straws into woods, into mansions. Okay, one more straw. We have four more spins. Okay, we have one wood, three more to go. We need to get some in the woods. We need to turn those woods into mansions. Okay, not one respin yet. Okay, a respin is three hats on woods like that. It gives you, it's like a free spin. That one didn't count. And I have two more woods and one gold mansion. You know, the mansions are gonna give you, you know, when you get to the final tally, when the hup and pup rolls and house down, that gives you your best chance at a big bonus. Come on, okay, we have a respin. We have one more mansion. It's alive, it's alive. And we have lots of landing spots here to get another mansion. Let's do that again, please. Okay, we have two mansions, $10 per spin, 10 cent, 10 cent denomination. Sorry, I tried to kick my camera there. Many is at 100, miners at 500, huff and puff. Let's hit the big bad wolf, blow these houses down. Okay, 10 cent denomination, that is $50. Oh, we started $1,003 in here. We're now up to $160. They're going to be ahead for this round. Let's see what happens. Okay, we have a mini times two and a mini. Okay, so that's one 200, one 300. We have a total of $460. Yay, we're up. So do I stay or go? Well, I just got started. I'm only a few minutes into this round. Let's keep going here for a bit. Okay. We're at $1,334, so I'm about $300 up at the moment. Come on, let's do it again, back to back. Okay, one more after this and we're gonna look at our denominations. Okay, yeah, we're already at max. Let's see, let's go to 15. You know, it's always nice to have a floor. And I'm trying to think of a good floor at 15, 750. You, know, you always wonder when you change your bets, does that give you more or less opportunity to get a boat? Remember, three butt saws or six hats. Now, I forgot the story I was talking about before we hit. Any, oh, I was talking about, you know, if you only watch bonuses, you know, you could have the perception that all machines are gonna pay quickly. Come up, get your social security check, cat, turn it into money, put it in a machine, and just leave with a Rolls Royce. No, it doesn't happen that way. It can't, but it's few and far between. Wouldn't that be nice if that was reliable? Come on, buzz up. 
Yeah, so just a bit ahead. It's, would it be nice if we could stay ahead? Oh, it's going to take a six hatch or three butt saws. Or, oh, by the way, on the three little pigs. Okay, that's a middle pig. That's a working pig. That's Peaky Banker. We also have a lazy pig. I'll show you if he pops up. Oh, we just got the butt saw bonus. Instead of a lazy pig, we got three butt saws. Now we're going to allow to spin the wheel. Work fifteen dollars spin minis at one hundred minus at five hundred. Of course, the minis most common simple to get up there, followed by the mega head feature. We want to avoid the mini if we can, but the mini is one times three. Look at the buzz off feature, and let's see, we have one over in the right, one over in the left. Okay, we're going to end up with a bunch of woods in the middle. This is not a bad layout. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this one's going to give us one straw. That's going to give us one straw and four wood. So that's a good start. Because now it's going to come over and turn those straws into wood. And now we need lots of hats right over there. That's a pretty good start. Okay, oh no, but we need hats. And we need respect. Just like we had last time. Okay, one mansion. That's a good start. Four more to go. Come on, hats, hats, hats. Come on, you got us dead spins. One more straw, two more to go. I'm just getting more mansions. No, last chance. On, one, two, okay. Okay, we have one gold mansion at 15. Okay, number, we're, we started at 1,003, we're at 1,007 right now, so we're ahead. The question is, do I want to go for one more bonus after this? I don't know. Said it a few times, when he's at 100, minors at 500. Would it be nice if there's like a minor times four or five? Okay, we are at $232. And we have a mini times two, that's 200, that's better than just a mini. We're at $432. Okay, let's do five more spins. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Hey, I like that. I'm coming out with an album soon. No, I'm not. Lucky for both of us. Okay, 438. Let's do five spins and evaluate. Okay, that's the lazy picky, by the way. Okay, we have some tape measures for $6. You know something? I'm going to change this around a bit. Let's go to five cents. I rarely pay five cents. And let's go five dollars to spend. You know, I took a poll on my YouTube channel. You know, what denominations do you enjoy watching most? And believe it or not, the vast majority, a high majority, said they like watching five dollars spend for because they can identify. Um, the worst people said they like $100 and up, but $5 was number one, and I think 10 and 15 came in right behind it. Nobody said 25. 25 has been my luckiest. But what's good about a $5 denomination versus uh, 15, let's do the math. Your money lasts three times as long. Gives you just some more time to get a bonus. Now, when we go to five cents, the mini changes to 50 and the minor to 250. The major's at 3,000 and the grand is at 15,000. You know, when I was here last time, I had one major for 7,000. This time I had two majors back to back on two different Buffalo machines for a total of 7,000, one 3,000 and uh, one 4,000. So that's one and two. Can I make this a third? Wouldn't that be great? I don't know if you can get on for $5, but I guess anything's possible. After all, it is slots. Here we're gonna do. I start with the thousand and three dollars. I'm not gonna go below that. But can we get a bonus between now and then? At five dollars, maybe. Okay, we have tape measures all the way across. That'd be for thirty dollars, I believe. Yes. Yeah. You have to do the math since it's at five cents. It's easier when it's at ten cents. Let's take off the last digit.
Okay, not seeing a lot of activity here. You know, and I got up early. I got up right at six o'clock this morning, had my coffee in the room, stayed here at the uh, Hard Rock. You know, that's just good. You know, if you gamble, you use your player card to point, you can usually get free rooms. And I, I don't like to come on the holidays. Oh, one more! And the holidays and weekends when it's too crowded. So I came and I did four or five machines last night. I didn't do well. Left us, left at a loss last night. Got up super early when it's quieter in here. As you, I don't know if you can hear now, I do a lot of audio processing to get the music out. But it gets loud. It kind of gets, you know, a little difficult to hear yourself think. But it's a great festive uh, environment. But for recording, it can get complicated. Okay, we have tool kits for, what is that, $10? One, two, three, four. Okay, see that? One, two, three, four. This is going to be a win. Okay, let's just do a few more. Eight measures for six. That's a $1 win. I'll take that. You know, winning is a lot more fun than not winning, isn't it? Okay, tape measures for ten dollars. Double my best. If you could do that every time, that would be good. That's two buzz saws. They make great noises. So how's the audio this time, Twan? Again, every time I come in, I try a different technique. And I tell you, each time it's getting a little bit better and a little bit better. I'm trying a new video editing technique. When I process the video up front, I'm trying to streamline my workflow, but give some completely new angles that you might not have seen on a slot machine before. Okay, we have the working piggy. This is why I cannot call them vocational school piggies. The reason is they have a job and didn't take out student loans. They're not reliant on our U.S. government and the taxpayers to pay off loans that they didn't pay back themselves. Okay, that's as political as I'm going to get. I'm just not a fan of that student loan payback program. I would have much seen those same dollars go into Medicare or Social Security. Because after all, I don't care what age you are. At some point, you're going to need it, and you're going to hope that it's a good program when you get there. Okay, I'm going to take this down to 1100 That way, I walk away with a few dollars profit. 1166 come on, hats, hats, hats. Six hats, three buzzers. We're ready for you now. It's funny, when you look at it, say, okay, you're only going to make $100 profit. Hey, that's 10%. And when you get home, you look at it and say, hey, that sure is better than saying, where'd all my money go? Oh, that's three hats. Okay. Oh, boy, if those would have connected. Okay, just a few more spins left. I'm trying to keep an eye on this on Uncle Bo 1100. Come on, buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, that too kind of spooked me a little bit. That spooked, startled me. Gave me a, made my heart pump. Okay. Okay, we're at 1103, 45. That means we are exactly $100.45 ahead of where we started. You can't go broke taking a profit. Hey, I'm just a small channel here. My subscribers are just starting to grow. I'm not one of the big guys. So every subscription, every like, every share, every follow counts. I'm on YouTube. I'm now on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. And I do my best to try to put up a new, fresh video each and every day. Worst case, five or six videos a week. Anyways, they're free. I charge nothing. There's no buy me a coffee. no Patreons. Your likes, your shares, your follows are my currency. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for now. I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr. Thank you for watching.